this is Jim T. Chong, the walk star, and I'm very excited to announce a great show here. And um, it's all centered around the power of Jim. And I have an incredible person that is working with me on this show. His name, ironically enough, is also Jim. I'd like to introduce real estate extraordinaire, Mr. Jim Meyer. Jim, how are you today? I am great, Jim, and it's exciting to be on the inaugural edition of The Power of Jim, where we're going to have three gyms. But if you guys want to come on the show next time, we are taking non gyms in the future. Uh, my co host for the show is my good friend, Jim T. Chong, who is also known as The Walk Star. He's a publicity genius, and he will get you guys out there on the internet in no time, especially if you're a startup business or if you're a, a business that's been around forever. You need a media presence on the internet, and so you came to the right place with Jim T. Chung, who is also going to help you in the arena of finances. He will put your money to work for you. Am I right, Jim, or am I crazy? Oh, that you're, you're absolutely correct. Uh, you know... Um, I had a show on Money 105.5 in Greater Sacramento, you know, of course, broadcast nationally, too, but um, had that for uh, several years. You were on there, Mr. Meyer, and, um, you know, I, I'll tell you, we had a great statement there. We say money drives any, 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 <laughs> it drives anything, well, money drives everything, and we used to say a lot of money, a lot of choices, little money, little choices, no money. You know what happens? You know what happens, Jim? No, what happens? It's not that you have no choices, that choices are chosen for you. So yeah. it's really important about just the strategies you choose there. And also, you know, I will tell you, you pick the wrong person to help you with the money, with getting a home. I mean, uh, you know, I do know of a friend who actually got the wrong home for them. They ended up uh, uh, being overcharged and the realtor, um, I'm not saying they were bad or anything, but for whatever reason, the home they got really didn't suit them. And let's just say that they had to uh, vacate. <laughs> and so it's really important that people have the right realtor. And, um, you know, I know you've been helping a lot of people there in Solano uh, County, but any Anyway, um, the power of Jim. Now, why do we call it the power of Jim, Jim? Um, well, Huey Lewis had that great song, The Power of Jim, uh, 25 years ago, and it just kind of stuck. Uh, so we really love it. And we actually went out onto uh, something called the Internet, uh, Facebook, and asked everybody what we should call our show. We had a lot of different responses, and the one that stuck was the power of Jim. Uh, if you're watching this show and you can think of a better name, who knows, we might change it. Uh, all we know is that three letters need to be in the title, J-I-M. Yep, that's right. And you know, the whole thing is just a correction for those that are valid Huey Lewis fans. The actual song was not the power of Jim, it was the power of love. Oh, okay. But well, since we love what we do, that's 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 okay. To me, love is a four-letter word, and I don't even know that it is real. Okay, right. who's our guest, Jim? Well, you know, um, I will tell you, somebody known in Solano County, I'll tell you what, we'll have Jim introduce it. Mr. Meyer, go ahead and introduce our guest. Jim, okay, my good friend Jim Felipe is a great, great attorney, and who needs uh, attorney uh, other than you guys who are watching it? Everybody needs an attorney. And you can say, well, no, I don't. Well, yeah, do you plan on dying? Uh, nobody knows exactly when they're going to die, but I think we can all agree we're all going to die. And if you die and you own stocks, bonds, real estate, precious metals or whatever, and you don't have everything set up, your heirs will be very upset. I know of a, of a situation where I've got a client uh, who recently passed away, and then his wife passed away not too long afterwards, basically of a, of a broken heart. And I always assumed they had their estate all set up, but no, they're going through probate right now. The son cannot sell the parent's house for another five, six months because of probate. And our guest here, Jim, is going to tell you how to avoid those problems because it can be a huge costly mistake if you don't set up things in advance. So, Jim is going to tell us a little bit about estate planning. Jim, what do you got to say? Well, <clears throat> thank you for having me today. It's pretty exciting to be on the inaugural episode of the Power of Jim show. 
me being a gym makes me even more honored to be a yeah. part of it. <laughs> not, not to say that it had anything to do with you being the first to be on the show, even though we did want to highlight Jim. No, let's just say we had everything to do with why we wanted you on the show. Pretty much. Jim, which, by the way, I just wanted to highlight that, um, that I came back from the gym. So anyway. Ooh. <laughs> actually, I, actually, I know you too well, Jim, and I know you're lying. Okay, Jim Felipe, tell us, what if somebody owns a house or any, has any kind of uh, stuff that they've accumulated over their course of their life, and they plan on dying, especially if they got kids or whatever, what are they going to do? Well, you, you kind of hit the net head in the nail there. I mean, unfortunately, the, our human existence has pretty much one guarantee is death as soon as you are born. And, you know, we kind of joke about taxes, but, you know, we've proven in some circumstances you can avoid those. So um, I say the only absolute in life is death. And you know, it's one of those things that we don't want to sit around and talk about. You know, who wants to sit around and talk about their own demise, right? So it's kind of a terrible thing to, to sit down and and talk to a perfectly good stranger like myself about your own demise. But um, you did mention, you know, one thing, you know, if you have assets, you, you want to definitely set up a plan. But um, estate planning isn't just for the rich or the semi-rich. Uh, you don't have to have assets to make sure you plan for the future. Um, a holistic estate plan is going to include uh, health care documents that include you know, your wishes at the time of your demise. Or even if you, you get injured and you're incapacitated for some reason. Um, if you don't want some crazy aunt making decisions for you, um, you know, you could have healthcare documents where you're able to, you know, determine who's making those decisions on your behalf instead of that crazy aunt. So, um, you know, estate planning truly is for everyone. And like you kind of alluded to, the, the key to that, that term is, is the plan. Uh, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And um, part of that is, is dying in test date. You know, if, if you don't have a plan in place, the, the state is very good. They have one in place for you. And most likely it's not one that you're going to like. It's going to be, uh, you know, a one size fits all. And it doesn't take into account anything to do with you or your family. It's, uh, you know, they, the court says what's going to happen with you and your estate. And that's it. And, um, you know, outside of that, you're, like I said, you're dealing with the court. And anytime you go into court, it's never a fun experience, never a quick experience. Uh, especially now with all the things happening in our society with the COVID-19 issues, uh, courts are starting to close down. So if you have a loved one that's, you know, has passed recently or you're in the probate process, you're taking a nine to 12 month probate process to probably, you know, 18 months or more. It depends on how this all flushes out. So estate planning is kind of a big deal for everyone and uh, certainly something that we don't like to talk about, but you know, it's, it's a thing that you should seriously consider having a conversation with me or someone else, but make sure you get on put in place. So if someone now is motivated, uh, you say that, you know, you're a stranger, but I mean, I think that anybody would agree, they get in front of you for five minutes and you're like their best friend because you're, you're, you're very knowledgeable and you're fun and you're, you're easy to be around and, and you don't have some sort of wall of, of craziness around you. You're, you're not arrogant, uh, and, and some some people are afraid of attorneys because they're going to talk that uh, attorney talk that people don't understand. Uh, you're just a down-to-earth, normal guy, and so I would say everybody out there who uh, knows the other Jim and myself, now you have a friend in the attorney business, so... <laughs> What, what does somebody do? Do they contact you and uh, you've got an office in Fairfield? So how, how does somebody get a hold of you? Right. So I have an office in Fairfield. I also have you know, offices in, the, in Rockland as well. So I kind of have the Fairfield, Sacramento region covered on both sides. Um, and you had it had hit on the nail. I mean, attorneys get around and when we talk to each other. We kind of use big legal words, trying to impress each other with our vast legal knowledge. But you know, I realized because I was a non-attorney at one time. I know, shocking, I wasn't come out of the womb as an attorney. And my power of gym is my ability to speak uh, about you know, complex legal issues in the ways that people can understand it. Uh, I don't try to impress my clients with my vast you know, vernacular. And, um, so I, I make sure that before they even walk out of my office, they understand what they've done and, um, you know, what they have set in place. So it's important for me to make sure that they, they understand what's happened and uh, feel 
comfortable with what is going to happen in the future. So to answer your question, uh, they can contact me in a few ways. Uh, my website's uh, www.philippilaw.com. That's F-I-L-I-P-P-I law, L-A-W.com. You can also reach me at 707-584-6739. That's 707-584-6739. So either way, free consultations to just kind of explore the option of, of an estate plan. So it doesn't cost you money just to have a uh, quick consultation to figure out even if uh, estate plan is right for you or, or why it is right for you. So definitely, if it's not me, you should be reaching out to somebody. You know, um, I want to um, go ahead and reiterate some things here. Um, my dad's memory actually is going, and, uh, you know, and, and so I've been working with him. It's very, very uh, emotionally draining, and if you don't know where to look for help or if you don't have things planned, uh, it's really, it can be very devastating. I've seen people uh, get into situations where things aren't planned. They just don't know what to do, so I appreciate what you're doing here. And I just wanted to mention to people, um, you know, uh, I know you're very reasonable and I know uh, you're very good at what you do. And I will tell people you will pay one way or the other. You either pay now, you know, and you get it all in place when you really are able to focus at that time versus not pay now and really pay the price later. And uh, arguably it could be a lot more expensive and you can lose a lot in the process. And most importantly, you know, really not have your, your assets that you spent a lot of time preserving go to the people you want to go to, you know? Right, um, absolutely. And that's one of the things you hit the nail on the head is if you wait until it's too late, it's too late and you're stuck with the courts. Um, you know, death isn't the end. You kind of alluded to some of the issues with your father's memory. Um, there are probably times where he's clear and understands what's going on, and, and that's when he can still enter into a, a will or a trust. Um, but when it's all completely lost and he's still alive, the time to plan has passed. And so, you know, it's one of those things where it can be very expensive. And that's part of the consultation. I sit down and I discuss what the cost of probate is compared to what an investment in an estate plan is. It's, quite a bit different and that kind of brings things into perspective you truly are investing in your financial future a little different than investing in stocks but you're investing in making sure that your family and your loved ones stay friends and amicable instead of enemies we don't want everybody fighting over your stuff <laughs> or, or say if you hate your kids and you want to make sure that your dog gets everything set it up while you're still of sound mind and body and uh, go see Jim Right. You know, one of the things, one of the things I wanted to mention was that, uh, you know, I know something you do as well, you know, I mean, just even to do something simple as a medical directive and just to make sure that, you know, especially if you have a parent, somebody that's, that's a more senior, they may be okay now. You never know what's going to happen. And if you don't have it signed on the dotted line, who can make those decisions? That can cause a lot of grief for the family because, you know, People may be well-intentioned, but people are going to have different perspectives, and it's really good to have that in place, and that's something simple, but if you don't have it in place, it can be very devastating, and just getting everything in order. So I love what you do, uh, 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 Jim, uh, and and so I have how, how did you forget his name? <laughs> well, you, you hit the nail on the head as far as you know, waiting until it's too late, but we have to realize, too, that we don't know when our demise is going to happen. The fact is, is that I could keel over in the next heartbeat and be done. And if I didn't have my, my healthcare documents in place, you know, who's making those decisions becomes really critical. And, you know, if you're certainly, I mean, obviously if you're married, you're typically your spouse has that power kind of just by default, but um, if they're not around or if they were involved in the same accident, they're also incapacitated or um, you're a single uh, person and you don't have a spouse, then it's kind of left open into a bit of a quagmire and you're kind of left to, you know, whatever doctor's caring for you and they're the ones ultimately making a decision whether or not, you know, they're going to listen to a loved one or they're going to pay attention to a, a healthcare care. So what's the typical time that it takes to somebody, if somebody comes into your office for a free consultation, is that like a half hour, hour, uh, about what, how long would that take? Usually we schedule it for 60 minutes. Usually it's, you know, 30 or 45 minutes, depending on the, the questions that are asked. But I, I like to block out enough times so that 
we have a full understanding of what's happening and, and understand why it's important for you in particular to have an estate plan in place. And, um, you know, we usually have some fun with it. You know, it's as much fun as you can have with a will and trust. I know it's not the most uh, exciting, sexy thing to do in, in the legal industry, but uh, ultimately it has an effect on every single person that is walking on this today. Absolutely. Um, so um, this is pretty good. As, as we get to the close of our, our little show here, uh, Jim, if somebody watches this right now and they want to text you, uh, can they give you a text and say, hey, Jim, what's your schedule like? Give us that number again. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, our phones are you know, the text, um, and you can you know, shoot us an email at uh, you know on our website as well. So our text line is is seven zero seven five eight four six seven three nine. So shoot us a text, email, give us a call, whatever is best for you. We're we're open to all communications. You can even send a carrier pigeon. I'd, I'd grab an idea of those. Uh, yeah, some of our clients, some of my clients, that's what they need because they 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 don't do. <laughs> texting or the email and we're seeing that a lot of there are a lot of people who are, live uh, a lot longer than they used to and they have accumulated wealth and they need your services they need my services they need gym services more than they ever had before and there's so many people who just don't want to do the email or text I've got some clients who uh, when I want to help we're negotiating to sell their place in Dixon we have to go meet them at Denny's in Dixon and I have to buy breakfast for everybody just to get them to sign one little thing. But it's the extra work that I think the three of us agree is that all three of us go that extra mile. Uh, if you're tech savvy or if you're not, who cares? We're going to be there for you guys if, if somebody needs us. Um, Jim Chong, what is there anything you want to share with us as far as what's new in the, the world of financing, uh, the financial arenas? Okay, Jim Well, well, you know, the 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 whole thing is is that you really want to have things in place, you know, whether it be dealing with uh, retirement, insurance, and definitely arguably the estate plan is is really uh, critical to making sure that the directives are all in place, your desires are in place or the, the person, uh, your loved one's desires are in place. And um, the biggest thing I can emphasize is like anything else, you know, I talk about this is basically having a plan. Most people don't have a plan, the inevitable will happen. And it is true that 100% of people that were born, guess what, They're eventually do pass. And, and, and so, Mr. Chong, let me ask you, because the stock market is, is having some problems right now. And yes. I a lot of people are going into gold, et cetera. You, you're good at helping people plan their finances. If somebody watches this show and says, oh, I'm, I'm a little scared of the future. I'm going to call Mr. Chong. I've got X number of dollars in the bank. I'm going to put some money into gold, into this, that, or whatever. Should they send you a little text and ask for a Oh, absolutely. Well, you know, uh, you'll see my information here, but you can actually go ahead and uh, reach me at uh, 916-888-6112, uh, the triple eight. Uh, but the whole thing is that we've got great vehicles where if the economy goes down, guess what? You don't lose any money. How's that? And if the uh, economy goes that. up you get some great, great uh, upswing on your return as well. And right now I believe the, the cap is 12%. So literally you don't lose anything on the cash that you have saved, but there is a cap. But if you do 12%, it's great. But I will tell you, um, I have a friend as well. Uh, his name's Om. Um, he emailed people saying last year, I've been telling you, and because some of the people that he's been talking to, he's been saying the economy's going to go down. You're going to want to put your money into vehicles like this. So I educate people on advanced strategies as well. Wonderful. So uh, yeah, feel free to contact myself, but more importantly, really have the plan. I think, um, you know, uh, Jim, uh, Felipe, you know, just with Felipe, um, just the way, you know, we've been going back and forth on the pronunciation here. Jim, how do you say Jim Meyer? How do you say the name? Do you remember? Uh, J.F. But uh, <laughs> J.F., let me ask you a question. Do you have certain days that you're in Fairfield versus certain days that you're in the Sacramento area? So, first of all, remember, you have to use your hands. It's Italian, so it's Filippi. Oh, yeah. Filippi, Filippi. So, yeah, I, I typically 
uh, share time between my Rockland and Fairfield office. And, and typically I'm in Fairfield Tuesdays and Thursdays, but I am super flexible if, if there's days, even on the weekends, if, if certain situations just doesn't work out right. I even have virtual uh, office meetings as well. So I can uh, meet with people over a, a similar platform such as this and uh, accomplish almost the same goal. So uh, in fact, I just, you know, they're, they're millennials, so they're computer savvy. And so um, I completed almost the entire estate plan over a virtual office meeting, just like this type of setup. Uh, the only thing they had to do was come in and actually sign in front of a notary. Uh, other than that, we did everything over this platform. So I am really flexible on making sure I can reach as many people as possible to make sure that they have their plans set up. Great. Now, it's good to have a group of people come in and meet you, or do you want just one person to come in? Like, say, a so whole family? Time, um, you know, we all hear about the you know, attorney client privilege and, and confidentiality. Um, so when you have multiple people come in, you start talking about personal. Uh, issues that confidentiality is, is breached and so it's best if you're going to speak uh you know specifically about your your exact situation it's best you do it alone um if it was more of an educational seminar where we're just kind of talking generalities i would say a, a group would be would be okay but in the most part we all are all, we have different situations different family uh, relationships different assets you know it's it just I don't think that the group seminar is the best way for you to get information, especially when you have attorneys such as myself going to sit down with you one on one and discuss specifically um, how a state plan can be customized. But I guess I bet, like, say, a husband and a wife and their kids would have oh, yeah. like a whole family go, or just yeah. Most of the time, if it's like a husband and wife, usually it's just the husband and wife. Um, you know, it, the issues become kind of convoluted because there are some things that are said to me with a, a husband and wife that maybe the children wouldn't want to hear or I hear or they may be influenced. And so a lot of, uh, you know, creating a will and a trust is making sure there's no undue influence. And so I try to eliminate that as much as possible so that, and obviously the kids are probably there for a reason to make sure they're getting all the stuff. Right. And so that might not be the husband and wife's plan. And, um, you know, they may not feel comfortable saying that in front of their children. So I would say it's best if, if it's a joint uh, estate plan just to have the, the joint uh, plan makers be there only. I say husband and wife, but obviously uh, it could be, uh, you know, spouse and spouse. Is, is probably or husband thing. and husband or wife and wife. <laughs> okay. yeah. wow. like we're in, we're finally in a time period where that doesn't matter. Right? Finally, we've gotten our brains straight to, understand that uh, not just husbands and not just wives love each other exactly well you know i'm i'm very excited about having you on and debuting because here is the thing that's really true what what you do is uh, arguably singularly the most impactful thing to a family upon when a life situation occurs and we do want to mention that as you think about life you know Take the time, really take the time to plan now. And, you know, I, I know Jim, you know, they talk about building a house. What is the most important thing about building a house? Getting paid. Getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're going to say the foundation. Correct. And so I want you to think about just the foundation your life has been laid on. And, you know, it is very important to plan and plan execute and put things in place that need to be put in place now until uh you know before something uh happens that, that really you're going to be thinking you know wow i should have had that in place that is a difference between responding versus regretting later so um i'm very excited about today's opening show uh real quick mr felipe um any final comments from you no, you know, absolutely. So just a few kind of points you just hit on. Um, you know, when you don't have a plan in place, it kind of leaves your families to figure that out. And while they're dealing with the trauma of your passing, now they're trying to figure out how they're going to administer your estate. And that becomes quite a big issue when they're attempting to um, go through that while being emotional. And so emotions tend to, to come into play when you're making big decisions and usually an emotional decision isn't always the best. So having it in place kind of removes the emotion, removes that trauma, allows them to 
um, come and, and kind of bring everybody in and deal with the trauma of your passing in a, in a much better way than had they been worrying about who's getting what uh, from your estate. The other thing is, is that even if you have an estate plan established, laws and conditions and tax well, regulations change constantly. So it should be something that you're doing an ongoing review. I offer an ongoing review for my clients where on an annual basis, we're getting back in touch with them to ensure that they haven't, you know, had more children, adopted, fostered, bought homes, sold homes, those type of things. Um, be in touch with them about, you know, law changes that affect uh, their estate plan. There's a big issue going on right now with some old trusts and some great tax planning strategies that were used you know, in years past, which aren't relevant now and kind of are detrimental to some people. And so you, you should be constantly reviewing your state plan, even if you're an early adopter. Well, thanks. Thanks for those thoughts. And uh, Mr. Meyer, um, just wanted to ask you any final thoughts here before we conclude. Uh, the final thoughts would be uh, thank you everybody for watching our first episode. If you enjoyed it, uh, tell us how much you enjoyed it. If you didn't enjoy it, uh, then we don't want to hear from you. Uh, and but we're looking for movers and shakers like Jim here, and your name does not have to be Jim to be on our show. So every time we do another episode, we should be highlighting someone. Uh, and then Jim, I'm glad you asked me about real estate. Uh, with interest rates so incredibly low right now, it's a great time to buy. It also is a great time to sell and move up to that dream home because some of the more expensive houses aren't moving as fast as they used to move. So you, know, you sell your $400,000 house, you buy an $800,000 house that 10 years ago, that $800,000 house might have been $1.2 million. So uh, this is the perfect time for someone to move up with real estate. Uh, Jim, uh, Sean, I want to thank you for putting this whole program together today. Jim is a master at uh, publicizing people in business who want to get the word out. So, uh, Jim F., what do you think about uh, Jim Chung and his ability to use this incredible app and to get you and I out there to the world. Pretty cool, huh? This was a pretty great experience. I have to, my hat's off to you. If I had a hat, I'd take it off for you, Jim Chong. And you certainly uh, are the master MC, and I have to say thank you for putting this together. Well, thank you so much. And I just wanted to highlight, when you are looking for something as serious, like as a house, that's arguably the most expensive investment that you can make. You're gonna want to make sure you contact the right realtor. I know uh, Jim Meyer, you just helped Bunny Stewart get into her house and you know help many of your clients there. And specifically in uh, Greater Sacramento, Solano County, uh, you're gonna want to contact uh, Jim Meyer and also consider uh, you know, your life situation, whether or not you have a, an estate plan right now, you know, you're going to want it reviewed if you have it. If you don't have it, that is actually 10x the reason why you need to contact Jim Felipe. And, um, you know, it's really important to be able to enjoy life, but take the time to really put in place the foundation and the things that are most important. And so I just wanted to thank all of you for joining the power of Jim. And as Alan Lakin said, he said, planning is taking the future, bringing it into the present so that you can do something about it now. This is Jim T. Chong, the walk star, along with Jim Meyer and Jim Filippi. Thank you for joining. Bye-bye. See you guys. Take care. Thanks for having me.